You know, folks, I collect playing cards, and what I do with the playing cards I don't use for magic, I use to practice magic. And let me show you what I mean by that. Um, I've got a whole bunch of playing cards. So I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I've got a whole bunch of playing cards. Well, by the way, I should say they're all ace of spades. Let me show you. Um, as you can see, they're all ace of spades. And I'm going to show you how I use these to practice magic. And I'm going to reverse the cards alternately like this. And you can see the cards really are face up and face down throughout the whole packet. That's very plain to see. Now this is all done at the fingertips because I'm going to split them into two groups. So over here we've got face up, face down, face up and face down. And on the table here, face down, face up, face down, face up. Now the magic is this. If I do this, all these will turn face up and all these will turn face down. Well, let's have a look over here. I think it's kind of happened one by one. Yeah, I've now got a three face up. If I flick the corner of the cards, I've now got all four are face up. And these now are instantly all face down. That's very magical. Now you're probably thinking to yourself, what on earth could, could you use a whole bunch of ace of spades for? Well, if you play poker, wouldn't it be nice to do this and change these to a raw flush and spades, which cannot be beaten? But if you did that, you'd need a lot of money to pay off all your debts, which you can always do with credit card anytime you want. 